Hey, check, check this out. Hold on, check, just watch, just wait. Okay, we know what happened. She wakes up, right? Typically, what we saw before is that she wakes up uh, due to a dream and her alarm goes off and everything is calm, right? There was a redraft where it was written that Sam is going to be the one that calls you and wakes you up from your dream with the Emperor. And then everything unfolds afterwards, right? Like you have a moment of peace in the beginning, but check this out now. So this is the new story. Sam Goodall is calling. We answer the call. We stretch our fingers. Everything's supposed to be calm. And then we get this message. I repeat, immediate evacuation of Sector Zero to Space Station Vesper. Immediate. Sam, what's happening? The meteor storm, there was an interference. It's closer than they thought. How long? Maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. So there's an immediate sense of urgency as soon as the game starts, which I feel like is a great way to begin this game. Now, this is all coming by pretty fast. Let me pull this up here. Upon receiving this, we then obviously reach out to Jeffries, who then says, we did it. I translated the wake up command. Now, I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that's code for something. Anyway, we say your timing sucks. We are evacuating as the meteor storm is approaching. And then Sam says his last GPS check-in was at the cave entrance. And we're talking about the shield base now, which is where we're supposed to go regardless. So now in a sense of urgency, of panic, we have to go find Jeffries to escape. What a crazy way to start, right? We open up. I'm assuming the storm is supposed to be kicking in. And I'm not sure if I showed this in the last episode. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm confident I did, but this is the escape rocket. It is a small version uh, of the Neptune rocket from Subnautica. I'm assuming it's going to be updated in the future, but it's supposed to resemble the escape rockets that you will utilize to get up to the Vesper. Uh, and they're gonna be located here and all the other stations like the Rocket Island and whatnot. So Jeffries and I have to get back to this rocket in less than 10 minutes to escape. Anyway, Jeffries is nowhere to be found and the meteor storm is here. So we have to retreat back. We have you on our ship and then bam, the ship takes off. So she says, I'm not on that ship. Uh, Jeff's the only one who could be. Sam said, I'll find out where are you now. I'm still making for the base. That's my best shelter now. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do from here. Jesus Christ, dude, this storm is nuts, actually. And of course, as we approach, the avalanche destroys our only hope. Stay where you are and look up. I'm dropping a life pod. Did everyone else get away? Did you find Jeff? A meteor strikes the Vesper, causing an explosion, visible damage to its docking bays and communications. What is the most surprising, I guess, to me is that we have had this interaction with Sam all the way from this point up until whenever, right? We have a constant communication to the Vesper. That's gone, which again creates this unbelievable dire situation where we had a way to escape and now we no longer have that. I don't, I haven't ventured off any further, but I think this is where it kind of stops. I actually don't know. If there are later updates and you actually get to talk to Sam, that would be great. But considering a meteor hit the Vesper, that probably is very bad. And then eventually the PDA will be talking to you uh, instead of Sam communicating to you and say, hey, there's an alien sanctuary in the Twisty Bridges 200 meters down below, your PDA is now going to tell you that. We're alone. Subnautica below zero, we're alone. That's crazy. Also, I think the interaction with Alan uh, in the first alien sanctuary has been redrafted as well. We'll cover that more in the future when it gets like voice work and stuff. I just wanted to talk about the instance of the Vesper getting potentially destroyed entirely or even partially to where we are now alone and have no communication. Anyway, that's not supposed to be the focus of this video. I wanted to talk about a few other things. So we'll get into that now. So I know you guys are probably tired of seeing the ice worm, but trust me, this stuff is crazy. Every time I check, the ice worm is becoming more and more dangerous and more and more terrifying. We got some weird behavior going on that I believe is intended, so forgive me, but I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, so we're back here. This is at the ice worm arena at the very start of it. Now, the uh, check-ins, the Subnautica check-ins that show you the small changes in experimental mode that are being added every day, multiple times a day, uh, said Ice Worm Stalking Manager, which I'm not sure exactly what that meant. And I think I understand it now because it would make a lot more sense given the interactions I've had with the Ice Worm in the last video, which was pretty insane. Uh, so I'm gonna just casually walk and we'll see, we'll see what, what starts to happen. We'll see how this all plays out. And by casually walk, I mean, of course, I mean, of course, run. <laughs> I, 
I hope I got you guys at the edge of your seats. So naturally from the bridge, we do tend to walk this way and it leads right to this area. <laughs> Can you imagine never playing this game and then getting to this area? <laughs> so the fact that this thing is potentially stalking me is terrifying. Every aspect of this thing is just awful in the best of ways. See, it sounds like he's now chasing me. God! His colors have been fixed as well. Okay, so this this is what that is. God damn it, I hate this creature so much. I'm just walking too, I'm not even running. It's obviously still, it's following me. Dude, that is so, oh my God, dude, this is awful. This is awful. Oh no, wait, what? I did not expect that. Get the hell out of this cave, dude. I hope you get stuck. Oh no, it's coming. How, how is he poking me? Where'd it go? Dude, he just came out of the cave. Jesus Christ. Can we not? Did you see it come out of the cave though? Okay, you're starting to really piss me off here. Okay, so he poked up. I ran out here. I turn around and he's coming out of the cave towards me. Yep, there it is. There it comes. Oh! That is fast. We gotta get up to safety here. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a cinematic sequence of events. Oh, whoa! What? Did he just dive from the top? There's a trigger somewhere right here. Holy hell, dude. Anyway, this is the crashed ship, which does not belong to Altera. Apparently this has been here for 30 to 100 years. And as you can see, it's not fully done yet, but this is one piece of two that will be near this area. This is supposed to be the smallest of the rest of the ship. I don't know what we're supposed to find here. All I know is that it's being worked on kind of heavily. You need a laser cutter to get in, obviously, but here we are in the entrance. Very rusted, uh, barnacle-ridden textures here. Again, signifying its age. Let's use the laser cutter. I know I have no oxygen, but might as well do it a little bit legitimately, right? So this has been here for a while, but the devs have hit it, uh, or did their thing where they kind of just invisibilize it. I think I just made up a word. Invisibilize might be a thing, I don't know. Holy crap, it's dark in here. I don't know what this stuff is. What the hell is this stuff? Solid, I can't go through it. Broken stairs, very worn down again. Ooh, what the hell? It's a giant generators. It kind of looks like the Cyclops. Yeah, we have like a, we know what that is. But look at this console right here. There's the do not press the red button button. Oh, we have other uh, generators up top here. There's a door, can I go through this? I can't, well I can, because I'm sneaky. Wait, is this inside something? Oh, what the hell was that? All right, I'm back. I don't know what that was. Oh, there's a hole at the bottom. <gasps> Can we not do that, please? <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Shipwreck salvage. Oh, nice. We can turn that into titanium. Well, that's helpful. We got a hole that I can't get into. Well, yes, I can. I'm gonna make this spooky. Ooh, look how dark it is. <laughs> Uh, the color grading makes a huge difference. Okay, so there's a lot of intact stuff that I imagine will be not intact eventually. It's like it's some kind of display here. Storage, maybe? Ooh, yep. I don't like the sounds. Can you not do- Oh, wait. This is where I came from. Holy lord, dude. I don't know what we're expected to find, but it's interesting to think of, like, the backstory of all these trans governments. Like, ever since- like, you gotta think about how distant so much the, the civilizations and stuff are. Like, the, the human race has become spacefaring, and now they're just colonizing planets and other solar systems. If you think about the scale of, like, the Earth, right, and how distant civilizations are, like, many civilizations, like, cities, towns, whatever. Think about it in a, in a, in a more galactic type of way. Is this an actual exit? It is. Okay. Think of it as a more galactic type. That's insane, dude. Like, how far do you have to travel to meet your distant family who decided to move over to the next solar system? 
And how long is that going to take you to pay a visit for Thanksgiving, right? Oh, wow. This is like a server room or something. Another console with a red button. These are so weird looking. I don't know if there's any key item in here or anything that we need to discover. I mean, obviously not right now. Ooh, server room has been destroyed. Okay, so there's multiple entrances, and this is a pretty big ship. I actually love the texture of this. It looks very old, dilapidated, and underwater. I just wish there was that... Ooh, more servers. What the... What is this? What is the... Wait, what? Command chair. Oh, I can pin it, and it tells me... Ooh, girl. I didn't realize there was a vent up here. Hello. What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at these terminals, dude. So th again, this is supposed to be the small end of the ship. Is this a door? It is a door. All right, let's open it, dude. What kind of wormhole do we have here? All right, are you ready to enter the wormhole? Let's go, boys. Woo! Damn. So the second part of the ship is going to be just over here. So what that means is the ship split in half when it crashed. The ass is back over there, and the front end, the bigger part of it, is going to be over here. Again, I don't know how it's going to tie into the story, but hopefully we'll be able to explore that soon. Oh my god, there's a chalicerate near the other vent garden. Uh, I'm faster than you. Whoa. <laughs> god, I hate the sounds. Get up. Oh, Jesus, you're an ass. Oh, oh, oh. You can't do anything while I'm in here, right? God damn, that thing is huge! Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done messing around. Anyway, ooh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to watch more, click here. You should do that. I highly recommend you do. You got some good watches ahead of you. Anyway, uh, I don't know how to outro anymore. YouTube is weird. So thanks for watching, and I love you.